So, uh, John, how's your day been? It's not been great. I've been kind of under the weather recently. I couldn't find my wallet before I left the house, so I'm not going to be able to buy dinner. My bike got stolen the other day, so I had to walk and I was late. And one of my housemates was brutally murdered by my other housemate. And I woke up this morning and this skull was just on my doorstep. And it looks kind of familiar. That's amazing. You're going to get so many points. Yeah, we're not playing Gloom. What's Gloom? Hello, hello, and welcome to a town called Bastard. Today we're playing Gloom. Gloom. Things. It's got cool, transparent cards so cool. and stacking effects. And it's great because you can pour water all over it and you don't ruin the deck at all. It's, it's great. Um, so yeah, I'm John. I am Hemlock Hall. I'm playing Hamlet Hall. To citizens of Hamlet Hall. Whatever. I am Sam. I am playing Castle Slogar. Um, I am Pierre, and I'm playing Blackwater Watch, or whatever they're called. Yes. yes that's right, well done. Yes. <laughs> <For the> fourth <laughs> time, I'm playing Blackwater Watch. <laughs> <coughs> they don't have the name of the house on the cards, which is really unhelpful for all like, I know who my characters are. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the aim of the game is to have your family die while as miserable as possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you only score like points life. for dead characters, and you can only kill them when they're miserable. Mm -hmm. There's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> the cat is thematically appropriate. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to jump straight into it. Yep. Uh, it's a handle limit of five, so everyone mm -hmm. dropped five. The person who starts the game is the person who had the most miserable day. Mm. So far. Which I think we agreed was Pierre, probably. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Suffering is not my middle name. For once. I don't know why I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was a given definition of had a bad day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, in the basic turn, you have two plays, as in you can play two cards. Uh, you can only kill characters on the first play, and then you draw back up. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It's yep. a really simple turn. Mm -hmm. Most plays, Seemingly. most plays are just adding modifiers to characters, which might be pluses or minuses, which are thematic and give story and give them score. Which I was gonna... but I got there first. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> okay, um, my game. Since I'm going first, I am going to. Hmm. I'm going to pick on on little little Melissa S Slogar. She. Uh, was rummaging through her room one day when she opened a mysterious chest and found that she was a, an heiress and had landed a legacy. Oh. And this is like overlaid. Yeah. So it's and, complete. Yeah. This is, oh, okay. <clears throat> Modifiers yeah. lay over the top of the regular cards. And. And that's about it. Provide effects. Yeah. And they also lie over each other. Yeah. And it's really important which Down things side. cover up. We have Which pathos points, or self-worth points, depending on what edition you're playing. Uh, only the ones that are visible at the time are relevant. Mm -hmm. We have a type of event, which can stack with the description down here. And we've usually got some pretty amazing alliteration up at the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's important. And I'm going to... it also has an additional effect. Wait. Of uh, yeah, I'll do things. Yeah, uh, that's for me. Oh yeah, that's for you. Uh, any effect that the card has uh, affects the character, the, the person's character. So he's played a card on my character. So you may immediately draw or discard two cards when this card is played. Affects me. Uh, think about it in a minute. We'll get. I'll get. I'll introduce Melissa. Let's slow that first. Um, so yeah, she is the cadaverous child. So it's a shame when a child dies at a tender age, but sometimes it's a shame when she doesn't. <laughs> and this dead child has now discovered she is an heir as well, which is, you know, yeah. appropriate and interesting. <laughs> Our slogar, <laughs> uh, slogar, oh, Castle Slogar, are a family of resurrectionists, yeah. by the way. Only probably two, maybe even one of the family are actually alive here. Well, maybe brain, does a brain count as being alive? Maybe, I don't know. It's arguable. Uh, anyway, am I going to dis draw, maybe even draw or discard, so I can just draw. I'm just going to draw two cards because I can. Seems like a plus to me. And now you second play. And my second, second the draw. My second play is... Um, the... Um, 
uh, wonderful starry-eyed serial killer Angel um, was was frolicking along in the woods one day when she touched something she shouldn't have and suffered from horrible sores. <laughs> um, and yes, the, my draw limit is reduced mm -hmm. by one card when this text shows, which means that now in my third phase, when I draw up, I only draw up to four rather mm -hmm. than five. And yes, John is showing off the wonderful, wonderful transparency. I just think the overlay is cool. So cool. It is a cool feature. That's quite a nice card because that's two minus 15 points. Mm -hmm. So she's already quite unhappy mm -hmm. from her. What was it again? Saws. Oh yeah, from her saws, yes. That she picked up in the forest. Because Melissa is happy. At least that's the story she's Why? going with. Why does Melissa... <laughs> <coughs> Why does Melissa have to be happy? Uh, trying to find some relief from her terrible sores, uh, Angel tried to go for a more holistic medicine and decided to uh, like try and sanitize the wounds mm. internally. Not a good idea. And as such was diverted by drink. Oh <laughs> no. Didn't help the sores, but it made it quite She's happy. She's quite happy. Oh, and also I have to immediately discard. Uh, one card when this card is played. That is oh, that's actually quite an interesting one. Yeah, that's it's brutal. A, a positive, but with an arguably negative. So no, the good effect. thing is overlaid the bad thing. Mm -hmm. So now that's Angel that's is at is it minus, minus five? five? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, minus five, so she can still be killed. Mm -hmm. um, She's not as miserable as she could be. That is that is true. <clears throat> um, uh, okay, I'm going to discard this card. I love how that's a positive. <laughs> it was diverted by drink. Oh, how happy. <laughs> oh, just quaint. Uh, just meanwhile, in a completely different place, uh, the twins, the creepy, creepy twins, uh, sweetest demonically possessed sociopaths you'll ever meet, mm. apparently, it's one heck of a dating bio, mm. uh, were playing out in the yard and were pierced by porcupines. That's an odd thing to find in your yard. Mm -hmm. yeah. How unfortunate. Well, Pigs with know. huge trees what growing out of, of them. <laughs> it's like hedgehogs what? on steroids, right? Probably. Yeah, but hedgehogs on steroids would also be an odd thing to find in your garden. Depends where you live. Yeah. Because it does, does You've seen a phone. Right? <laughs> yeah. I imagine uh, your... We'll back up. What was your, what's your place again? Um, Hemlock Hall. Yeah, Hemlock Hall could possibly have porcupines or hedgehogs on steroids in the garden, I suppose. <laughs> I like that you know the rules of what like zoology is going on in these places. <laughs> of course. Yes, Pokemon's have course. been seen in Hemlock Hall from time to time. <laughs> Indeed. Is it my go? Yes. Please. Okay. Well, oh, um, no. <laughs> you know what's coming. I can, I can feel it. Angel. You're, with Angel being only a minus five, which is not a very good score to die on. No, but they can not. still die because they're minus. Mm. Uh, I think Angel, in her drunken stupor, accidentally wandered into a wild animal enclosure at the zoo and was torn limb from limb. Uh, by porcupines. By porcupines. By porcupines. <laughs> because of course. Yes. They so, they've been donated by the Hemlock Hall family. So, so Angel has died. Yes. And she wasn't especially unhappy. And so what you do when somebody dies is you flip them and they you see they think of everything. <laughs> you know, changes colour. It's like oh. that's not as helpful with Castle Sorgar, because they cost already red. Red. Oh, has, that, has that card got any extra extra effect on it or anything? Um Flip the character beneath this card to its deceased side, worth an additional minus ten if you have like a bat symbol. Uh, if you are Batman. Yeah, it's a beast related. Yeah. Minus modifier. ten misery if you're Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, well the, Batman is more miserable like, by a lot. Prickled by porcupines or whatever that's, it is. Yeah, that's, that's got a bat on it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that's kind of how they work. I'll still another go, I think. Right. No. Uh on time the S don't end your go, do they? Uh, no, but you can only play them on the first, Which and yeah, that was, yep. yeah. As a note, by the way, this, like, storytelling, oh, they went to the zoo and got torn limb from limb, that's, yeah. that's not as, like, trying to be funny, I mean it is, but that is actually rules of the game, tell a story. Mm. It's quite hard, actually, because <laughs> yeah. the cards are so completely isolated all of the time. 
Mm. It's very hard to link two separate characters yeah. from the other, opposite sides of the table. And, and as we were discussing before the camera started rolling... Um, <coughs> Hello, I'm the bastard, by the way. Um, <laughs> as we were discussing before, uh, the camera started rolling. Um, it's the kind of game that you only want to play with people who are comfortable with that kind of semi-roleplay improvisational storytelling. Mm -hmm. So, bear that in mind. This is why it was a terrible idea. Well, you don't have to play with it, admittedly. You don't have to play with, it, do yeah, have no, to play with the roleplay. But then, admittedly, the, the, the underlying game to this is... It's good, but it's not, it's like, very it's not the reason necessarily to buy the game. The joy of the game, I think, is the cart of the story around it. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, well, uh, it's not very creative though, it's not to go to the zoo as well. <laughs> Everyone just goes to the zoo! The zoo is the best place. It's a good place. Okay, fair enough. We're all trying to see how much calls porcupines. The, yeah. the, the, the dead uh, heiress now, because she has landed a legacy, um, Melissa Slogar, uh, upon hearing of this wonderful legacy that she has landed, or is tuned to get apparently, uh, decided she was going to go to the zoo because that's a wonderful cheerful place and she can spend some of that money that she's it's destined to get. That's uh, a good one. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Oh, man. Uh, unfortunately, because she's dead, uh, the tigers of the zoo thought she smelled pretty delicious and decided to try and eat her. I know tigers don't actually eat dead flesh very much, but, you know, that just, that's the thing. Again, with the zoology. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> biologist. That's quite a good one. That's minus 30. Mm However, -hmm. uh, it does mean I skip my next draw phase, which is annoying. I don't draw now, but that's okay because I already got plus two draws. Oh, I still have five cards. Ha, ha, ha. Um, okay. <coughs> so you won't draw anyway. No, that's true. So tactics, you see, tactics. Yes. It's not tactics. Oh so, shit! It is tactics. <laughs> um, Balthazar, the uh, the un the unfaithful hound, um, his his master Willem Stark, uh, told him that he was going to going to go um, and uh, fonk fox hunting uh, uh, because they're they're that kind of people and um, <laughs> and the Balthazar was super excited about this until he realised that the foxes were huge. Uh, and it was he who was being hunted. Uh, <laughs> he was being hunted by horrors. Uh, and well, I have to skip my next turn that was after a, this card is played. That was a good good story. Um, <laughs> and uh, Cousin Mordecai touched something he shouldn't and was greeted by ghosts. Um, and I must immediately discard three cards when oh. this card is played. But I only have one. <laughs> oh, so. God. That, that skipping your turn with the hunted by horrors, that wasn't this turn, it was no, next. Next turn, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of touching stuff you're not supposed to touch in <laughs> Blackwater Watch. There is. We we have wandering hands. Can we have an introduction to Cousin Mordecai? <laughs> oh, Cousin Mordecai is a red-headed stepchild. <laughs> his most uh, his most significant feature is his red hair. Mm -hmm. That is, and his fish. Or is it a fish? I think it's a fish. I think yeah, it's it is a fish. a fish. Yeah. He likes his fish. He's just holding a fish for some reason. The other children Weird. don't like the smell. Is but... it in a bowl or is it just? No, he's just no, holding he's a fish. No, he's just holding just a fish. Holding a the fish. fish. Show the camera the fish that he is just holding. The fish the is is that's is amazing. It, visible? it is beautiful. Um, he is <laughs> beloved by things that like dead fish. It's pretty good though. You have got a minus forty and a minus thirty now. Mm. Yeah, trying to distract from your own minus thirty. Yeah, you got minus forty, <laughs> and it's a hard one to get because the bottom one. No, just because it's true doesn't mean you have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing about these three kind of uh, pathos point or yeah. score slots is um, when you're playing over each other, the top ones are very common. Many cards have top modifiers on them, so they can get replaced mm. very regularly. The middle ones, less so, and the bottom ones are quite rare. So if you have a card that has a bottom minus 20, for example, like that, that's a really good card because it's very difficult to cover over or replace with anything else. <clears throat> so that's kind of where the transparentness comes as a strategy. For viewers at home, I'm trying to use the tactic of brushing the cat to make him shut up. It <laughs> is not horribly... Not working. Really. <clears throat> it's adorable, though. It's it working adorable. flawlessly. It's, that's just the sound of me sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> it is adorable, and therefore definitely should be kept off camera for this episode of, of Glue. Mm. Yes. Some sort of clever red <clears throat> sneezing. Glue um, is a very serious game. Very serious game. Mm. Tactics. We're really into this. Tactics and strats. Mm -hmm. uh, after, due to her reactions to the um, mauling of the twins by garden porcupines and their uh, subsequent incarceration, the porcupines, not twins, uh, Lola Wellington Smythe, the, I believe, oldest wild child, apparently, of the household, uh, found herself disgraced 
and was written out of the will by her father. Ooh. Mm. I know that feel. Uh, <laughs> skip your next draw phase after this card is played. And I'm going to leave it there. Oh, fair enough. Hmm. Okay, well, I think that this doesn't really make much sense, but Balthazar, upon having been in this horrible, horrible hunt, actually realised that pleasantly surprisingly, <laughs> that never happened at all. It was just a big trick. Ah, <laughs> This is an event card, by the way. Some cards are these cards with red text, which is basically rather than playing they just um, do things. Yeah, rather than playing a modifier or something, they just do things. In this case, this one is remove the top modifier on a character. I can't pick it up. So it turned out it was just Willem Stark in a big fox a, suit. Yeah, a big fox. He was just That's a horrifying. experimental furry. <laughs> like, before his time. Mm -hmm. um, Not like one of these establishment furries. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and, oh. and you can't go next anyway. Yeah, you're ghost. you don't get a go, do you? Ha -ha. There's a Mordecai. Ha -ha. There's a Mordecai. It's too late, the effects already happened. No, it's it was the other one. It was Balthazar's one. It was Balthazar's one. The effects effect. already happened. Yes. Test. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind Pat. That's pretty good. <clears throat> That's great, I'll give you a negative. Thank you. Um. What's her name? Which one? Do you mean Lola? Yeah, Lola. How dare you forget her name? Uh, well, upon being um, written out of the will, she decided she was going to just splash out and buy something for herself because she's a wild card and she's just a bit like that, really. Mm. Um, but unfortunately, the um, the lovely new car that she bought actually turned out to not be a car at all. It was, in fact, just a cardboard box with wheels on it. Exactly. <laughs> so she was swindled by salesmen. I did give you a minus there, but it was less of a minus than the previous one, so it's actually equivalent of reducing that character score. And I've still got a bad effect on And it? you have a skip your next oh, draw. Right. That is painful. So I'm happy with that when I draw up. Oh. It's my go. Yeah, because I skip it. Ha <laughs> <clears> ha. <throat> Filled with shame that she has been abandoned by her family and was so badly swindled by a salesman. She doesn't really care about the family thing, actually, now. She's pretty distracted by the swindled of it. Well, yeah. <laughs> she still likes complaining about it to anyone. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Lola Wellington Smythe vanished off into the horizon and died old and alone. Oh, that's quite good. Mm. Self-worth score of minus 25. Oh. So... Yeah. So that was a, a death that gave you minus 15? Yes. That's not bad, is it? She vanished off into the event horizon. No, she vanished off into the horizon. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I wanted this to turn into an epic star, like, sci-fi We don't have that expansion. <laughs> I don't even know if there is an expansion. If there's an event horizon expansion, I'll play you. <laughs> <laughs> um. I need to kill some characters. Her father, on the other hand, was completely and utterly distracted from the whole his daughter running off, buying a car and dying, dying all and alone. Because um, he was quite distracted by the weird, weird smell coming from dessert and was perturbed by the pudding. <laughs> it's quite a mild one, that. Mm. Mm. Mildly perturbed by the pudding. Mm. Yeah, pudding's bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could always just not eat it. It's true, it's true, you could always just not I eat mean, it. I mean, you don't get... <laughs> but it's too late, he's already eaten it. Yeah. I'm guessing, he because he has been perturbed by the pudding. Or you think he just saw the pudding and was perturbed? Saw the pudding, was perturbed, the pudding. and then missed pudding. Oh, like, yeah, most right. of the, the negative would probably be from missing dessert. Yeah. Mm. It's only a minus ten, I suppose. You could just yeah. have a bit, a bit less dessert. Yeah. A bit upsetting. That's all. Yeah. Well, what was the last matter of it? a slow guy. Oh, she went to the zoo, didn't she? And was taunted by tigers. Hmm. Yes. <coughs> Can people only die on your f first, first turn? First, yeah, you have to play. Yeah. Unless you've got a card that yeah, summons that. Yeah. Because otherwise you could play a really good minus and then kill them straight away. Yeah. That would be quite a bad. Okay. Um, 
upon being taunted and I imagine rather shredded by tigers, um, she she ended up choking on her own leg bone. Uh, Ooh. Because it kind of fell off. Ooh, that is a bad got morning. Wedged, got wedged mm. in the throat a bit. It was pretty un- pretty unfortunate, really. Yeah. It's only a minus thirty, but she's dead. I mean, she was already dead. She just kind of she died some more. She's dead, dead. Yeah. She's deaded. I imagine she actually cut her pieces and choked. Mm. The pieces didn't really bother her. The pieces are fine. And yeah, minus thirty. Now, and what are you doing for your second turn? <laughs> Uh. What's next? Me that discard three cards. That's not too bad. <laughs> I am going to play an event. Sorry, being me to you, Pierre. Yeah. I don't forgive. Okay, fair enough. Twist of fate. That is, replace the top modifier on a character with one from your hand. Keep the modifier you're, when you replace it with. He, is, he was not, in fact, greeted by ghosts. Greeted by ghosts. Instead, it turned out to be a bishop. Because, you know, their clothes are quite similar. You can't really tell. And he was blessed by a bishop instead. Okay, so when this card is played, I may immediately discard any number of cards and then draw until you reach your limit. Ooh. The reason I did that is because I think it was greeted by ghosts is a good card. I want it. It is a good card. Also, you get plus 20. In a hard place to remove. Discard. And... But you do get the big draw, which is nice. Yes. You confuse a bishop with a ghost. <laughs> they could probably look quite similar to a kid. He seems like a pretty stupid kid, he's holding a fish. Don't talk about Cousin Mordecai that way. Yeah, Cousin Mordecai's great. Okay, I think... Actually, I think I'm gonna... Do I draw up? Go for that. I draw up, yeah. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> um, that's the end of your turn, right? Yep. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Um, well, um, after being blessed by the bishop, um, the blessing was just just a sort of informal thing that they he he was you know on his way on the train. Just a bit of blessing. Um, but then Cousin Mordecai realised that the train doors weren't opening, and the bishop was still there. <laughs> oh god. But he was trapped on the train. And this was terrible. Um, with the trapped bishop. on the train with the bishop. Trapped on, trapped on the train with the bishop. That should be another minus 20 at Apparently, least. overall, this is a net zero. He's <laughs> um, <laughs> still with a blast. Yeah. Um, the old damn, a, a murderous matriarch, was um, walking along the street one day, and... Uh, a, a, a poor, starving man, you know, re- reached out his cup and, and begged, begged for just a, a meagre offering. Um, of course, um, being the kind-hearted person she is, she began kicking the hell out of him. And, uh, but then he fought back mm. and beat her up. <laughs> um, she was beaten by beggars. <laughs> Multiple beggars, in fact. Others turned yes. up to join in. Others, others saw what she was doing and were like, that, that ain't on. I know, that's probably fair. It's like <laughs> kicking the beggar. Um, and so she got her just desserts. The lesson is don't kick beggars. Mm. Remember that at home? Yeah. Don't kick beggars. Don't ever say we're a bunch of amoral social cats. <laughs> <laughs> or kick beggars, but you know. Now, <laughs> uh, back at Hamlet Hall, Butterfield, the lurking butler, who, whatever it is he did it, apparently, mm-hmm. I don't trust him, um, was... The washing up. Doing the Tidying washing... The he did all that. Yeah. See? And the murder. All the what? murders. Murder? All the murders. Oh um, yeah, he was uh, cooking dinner for the family when he noticed that Hamlet Hall had a mouse infestation and found himself menaced by mice. Oh. As they started shouting terrible things about his mother. Oh. Um, played by these mice, he asked his fellow colleague, Goody Zar, the nanny of the twins, 
uh, whether or not she would mind going into town to buy some mouse traps. However, on the way into town, goodies are, um, walked through uh, <laughs> I just lost the story. It's fine. Walked through a rough part of town uh, and found herself mocked by midgets. Oh. Mm. Walked through the midget part of midget town. Midget you shouldn't district. walk through the midget district. Midget <laughs> town. <laughs> I mean, midgets do make good mouse traps, though. Yeah. Can't deny that. Mighty morphine. I think that's true. Midget yeah, I How the hell is that stereotyping? <laughs> it's just sort of a random thing that makes no sense. <laughs> oh yeah, where was this? Ooh, that's good. I like that. I don't remember how that card. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think while uh, Elias E. Gore, the iterant <laughs> gravedigger, was wandering the graveyards at night, as he, as he often does, uh, this particular night, he happened to be uh, greeted by ghosts. Something that the dog previously thought... No, wait, sorry. The, what's his name? Cousin Mordecai was thought he was greeted by ghosts, but it turned out to be a bishop. Instead, mm -hmm. Elias Eagle was greeted by genuine ghosts in the graveyard. Because you'd expect to find them in the graveyard. while great dig. And it, it gave him a bit of a fright, you know, as, as, as it would. Is that a negative? Yep. Maybe you discard three cards. Oh, yeah. He is. Oh, wow. Well. I should have paid attention. Mm. <laughs> Bit like eagle. Mm. Yeah. If you're sharp and on your feet, you know. I think he probably fell down to the grave he was digging, actually. <laughs> that would make sense. Uh, well, if I'm going to play one card, which card am I going to play? Not that one. Not that one. Okay, we'll play, because that's a good one. Get rid of all of that. Well, I do like that card, I just got that side. Mm. <laughs> but it's a good card, apart from that issue. <laughs> apart from the horrifying negatives. And I think... make it a bad card. <laughs> yeah, apart from that. Just saying. While uh, Lord Slogar, the brain in the box, was being wheeled around the gardens, the lovely, mm. beautiful gardens, by Professor Helena Slogar, um, he was, however, uh, terrified by the awful, <laughs> awful job that the butler had done with the topiary. Just, um, just awful. Just, just awful. He's been in a box for a while indoors. You know, it's the first time he's had a chance to get out and about his, his grounds for a while. Um, also, I have no idea how he perceives the topiary, considering he is just a brain in a box with no evidence of eyes or anything. It is pretty difficult. But somehow he has some perception that the topiary is not correct, and he's been terrified mm. by it. Let's draw. Mm. Yes. He has a sixth sense for topiaries. Topiary senses, indeed. Okay. Um, so, Lord Slogar, after being terrified by to Topiary, was um, decided he wanted to stay indoors, and so um, you know he 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 went back inside. And what what do you know? The whole family was there playing playing cards, much like much like we are playing cards. <gasps> and and. He was really good, and so, you know, they found him to be really clever at cards. Um, and He totally yeah. forgot his terror, his, he, his topiary worries. His topiary, and it just, they, the, the worries... Topiary worries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, I don't think, I don't think that one works. I don't think we, we forgive. I'm not editing it out. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't asking you to. <laughs> um, meanwhile, Willem Stark, who was out on his epic fishing voyage, um, he's noticed... A man, not a sailor. He's definitely, well... He looks kind of like a pirate. Look, he's got a pirate hat He's on. got a pipe. He's clearly... He also has a pirate hat He on. clearly owns a, a fishing ship and says, R occasionally. <laughs> and in one of these these moments... More of a nervous tick. He realised that actually his handiwork was not so so good and his, his ship was smashed to pieces by the roiling waves and he was starved in the storm. Oh. Um... Yes. With Bayard. Do you have a negative from that? No. That's nope. Fine. That's nice. Um, and then that's the end of my turn.
much tension. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are some significant emotions that go into trying to destroy a family's life. It is hard. Got to put a lot of thought into it. You don't want to jump into it. Yeah. And in the game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here debating how to ruin other people's lives we know. Just like. Yeah. And the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, while he was waiting for Goody Zar to return with the mousetraps that he asked her for, uh, Butterfield grew desperate. Uh, it's these menacing mice were thoroughly menacing. So he he remembered reading in the paper that the local pest control person had died uh, due to a terrible, terrible mousetrap accident. <laughs> and driven to desperation by these mice, Butterfield broke into the morgue and stole the mousetraps from the dead best con uh, pest control person. Stole from the stick. <laughs> he was. <laughs> you're saying he was in the morgue with his mouse traps. Yes, <laughs> they the were attached stick. to him. <laughs> oh, um, they were attached to him. Yeah, mortician couldn't get them off. Yeah, <laughs> Butterfield managed that, to that was probably them off, how he died. Yeah, carried them home. Indeed. Uh, little did Butterfield know that this was the start of a long, illustrious career as a not quite grave robber. Uh, morgue robber. Morgue more robber. Yes. That's the thing. Um, and uh, possessed by this terrible, terrible vice, he grew old without grace. Oh. Ah. Oh. You killed another one. Wait. Not yet. Remember. He's not dead yet. Okay. Oh. Damn, that's a lot of score. Play at your Negative. right may randomly select in his card two cards from my hand immediately when played. Randomly. Oh, those are quite good. good. <laughs> there was one death and one really. Yeah. And then I draw back up. Mm -hmm. I really want to hear the, the yes. story of this mousetrap salesman. Oh, that's, that's fascinating. Mm. Mousetrap salesman, the most dangerous profession in the world. <laughs> Mice, that's the most dangerous game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, really, they're not really a game, so... No. Is that well, quite natural? Should that have been the most dangerous <laughs> prey? Um, no, the most dangerous game is definitely, yeah. definitely good. Poor old Butterfields, now he is old, has grown old, uh, without grace, uh, did however have a nice, peaceful, happy life uh, into his retirement. Uh, lived alone, but you know, he was, he was relatively content and died without cares. Damn it! Oh, oh, oh shit, son! Died without cares is an amazing card. It, it I would just like to point out, I had <laughs> minus 50 score minus on Butterfield. It's pretty good. And now, die without cares. that is all gone. It's the only way for a character to die with nothing. Yep. Otherwise, they have to have some minus. And it is pretty brutal. And that was not the. Th you, what are you going to do with your nefarious second go? Uh, I think then uh, Grogar, the work in progress. <laughs> Grogar the Impaler. Professor Slogar is determined to create the perfect groom for, the, for, her, for her daughter. She still has a way to go. Her daughter is now dead. I mean, dead, dead. But I think she's still at the zoo and she doesn't know yet. Yeah. She often goes off a month at a time without, without being appearing. So she's still working on the teddy bear. Still oh, dead. Yes. Yeah, we should probably teddy. show the viewers that Grogar. Oh, the, he is the, literally the, a teddy bear. Yes. The teddy perfect bear, room. A brain inserted the inside perfect him. Room. Uh, but because he is a teddy bear with a brain inserted inside him, he was shunned by society. Oh. Which it seems relatively apt. Ooh. Which is, means I skip my next go. Ooh, okay. But it is a minus 15 on all three, which is amazing. Well, I feel like we need to catch up with Cousin Mordecai, who last we saw him <laughs> had been trapped on a train. Um, with a priest that was intent on a blessing bishop. him. A bishop that was intent on blessing, <laughs> blessing him. him. Um, At this stage in the career of a town called Bassett, <laughs> are we actually going clergy paedophile? <laughs> well, apparently, because shortly after that, <laughs> he died of despair. <laughs> Utterly unrelated to any events prior. Maybe the um, bishop stole his fish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, like, he just loves That's not fish. a euphemism. <laughs> oh. So, yes. He's, he's dead. And I must immediately discard my entire hand. What did you get for that? I got minus uh, 35. That's pretty good. Mm. Two, three. So you're on minus 40 overall with two characters dead, aren't you? Yes. I'm on minus 30 with one character dead. You're on minus 25. With one. With two characters. What's on? What's Pierre on? Minus 40 with two. Okay. Pierre's definitely ahead. Yes. But I only have one character dead, though, so. 
Yeah, I have less ability people to people play. Okay. The I don't know if we actually pointed it out previously. The game ends when what all of one person's house dies, which can accelerate quite fast when someone's in the lead and they try and kill other people's or their. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's my go, isn't it? Yep. Well, I don't know what to do. <laughs> do the best play. Yeah, do the best play. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> Sound tactical advice from Pierre. Yeah. <laughs> MLG, grow game. <laughs> Shots fired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hello. Hi. I'm skipping my next go, by the way. Yeah. In case it changes your play. And Pierre's as well, I think, isn't it? Nope. Did you? No. Oh. I just had to discard my whole hand for the, 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 the really good death that gives you minus it's not, 15. It's not even that bad, because you might just have a terrible hand. Yep. Mm -hmm. That is a good death as well. I can't see, there's too much glare on the table. Oops. Shiny cards does have negatives. Yeah. Also, once you've got too many modifiers on a character, you start to top the end to see things properly. Yeah. I mean, it makes it doesn't really matter. You don't see the picture, I suppose. You don't want to go with the middle one. Well, I want that one. Yeah, no, I think one to the left. Uh, that one. No, one to the I left. think that's actually a good. That is the left. Oh, one to your left. <laughs> well, I'm going to go with that one. That's anyway. an interesting play. Mm. Uh, you see. The twins, after all the excitement with their their butler turning into a more brother, their older sister disappearing off, <clears throat> their father uh, treating all trifle with a hearty, hearty <laughs> suspicion. Um, the, that, was, that was really weird, actually. The butler just in this time has dying. got that, old that and died. Shit. Uh, yeah, the twins cares. decided they'd probably better get out of there, mm. uh, and left, and never returned. Ooh. Oh, you got a modifier as well. It's got a modifier. Fun. So, the total things on the side say minus 15, but I have a modifier on the death, and a relevant type, mm. so that's a minus 25. Nice. So I'm on minus 50? Mm. Yep. Minus 50. Okay, and then you skip your go, because you played the... Or was that the first play? That was the first play. That was the first play for a death. Unless oh, yeah. events let you do otherwise. Good point. You can tell I'm focused. We're all focused here. I've got my game face on. <laughs> I don't want to see that game face. <laughs> it's a really scary game face. Uh, at the same time, or, or shortly after, they disappeared, when they still thought they were coming back, um, the Hamlet Hall family through like a charity benefit to try and raise funds uh, for the police search to try and find the twins. Oh. And um, while there, Lord Wellington Smythe was quite perturbed to find that the buffet table was entirely made up of desserts. <laughs> and because his phobia of pudding had gotten so bad, he made quite a disgrace of himself at this dance. Oh. Oh, we removed your thingy though. <clears throat> My what? You removed your pretty effect. Yeah, effect. Whatever yeah. it's called. Um, um, type. Yep. Yeah. That's the one. Okay. It's My go is skipped. Actual name. My go is skipped. You're actually rushing death and you're going to win it at this point, aren't you? I'm not rushing death. Mm, you have three dead. Mm. Yeah, it's because people keep killing them. <laughs> oh, I suppose you killed two I of them. killed them. Yeah, that's true. Well. It's almost as if that's a tactic. <laughs> <laughs> well, Willem, Willem Stark. Um, Having you know, just just barely made it through this storm, he he like just starved in the storm. Um, he was just just ribs and bones, but he he was he was just <coughs> he was really hungry, you know, and Makes sense. he couldn't wait to get home. Like he literally couldn't wait, and so he took a cleaver to his own leg and baked himself into a pie. Is that the one that is the peg leg or the other one? The other leg, I'm presuming. B probably the other other leg to the peg leg, but he, he was in a perhaps an unfit state to, oh, okay. to really be said. Did he at least eat the pie before he died? Um, uh, Maybe not, he died because it was the peg leg and he choked on a yeah. splinter. This one, <laughs> yes. He choked on his own peg leg because he baked it into a pie. Yeah. Mm. It was. It totally was, happened. Perhaps he. That's should've... why we're terrible. We're scared of pudding. So yeah. Right. 
That is indeed why we are scared of pudding. Um, meanwhile, um, Grogar. No, don't mess with Grogar. Grogar, Grogar. the <laughs> wonderful, wonderful teddy bear. He's so unhappy after being shunned by society. Don't make him happy. Was was picked up by a, a, a girl who saw through no. a young a young child who just saw through his 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 uh, unpopularity. Wow. She took him to the park. And she had a wonderful, wonderful picnic with him. Ah, oh, so much minus before. Now he's a zero. Yeah. All that shunned by society is entirely oh. worn off. That doesn't even give me a positive. Ah. Oh. Yes. Um, a jug of wine, a loaf of bread, and a pack of wool. Draw up, and that is your go. <laughs> Damn it, you ruined my game. Yes. Grogar was so unhappy. Grogar the unhappy. Mm. Lord Wellington Smythe was so mortified at his uh, disgrace at the charity benefit to raise funds mm. to find his children. These children, not not that weird daughter that just wandered off after buying a weird car. <laughs> it's a cardboard box. Um, that he went wandering in the night. He left the party and went wandering through the grounds and tripped and drowned in a bog. Uh, goodies are not learning from her employers. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> uh, chronic fear of pudding uh, risked the um, super anglaise, let's say, uh, which gave her dysentery, oh. which was awful. Play to my left, may randomly select and discard two cards from my hand. I don't think probably didn't look at them, but they all go in an upright yeah. pile, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was quite unhappy. But I get five cards, which is bad. I get four. That's still bad. Okay, well, Elias Igor, unbeknownst to many others, actually had a family. Mm -hmm. uh, and property of his own. Uh, and uh, that family was ambitious for the property that he owned, for they were written into his will. He was slain by him and his heir, in fact. Oh, disastrous. Uh, so Elias Igor is not dead. And he was a minus 30, which I can deal with. Okay. What's your total points? 25. Uh, 75. 25 in each of them. Yeah, that's really good. Really easy to count, actually. Yeah, apart from that guy. Yeah. Yes. You need to die. <laughs> uh, what happened last time? Distressed by dysentery. Hmm. I feel like um, goodies are, you know, after having uh, had to leave this family service, of course, since every single member of the family is dead. Um, including the butler. Including the butler, who I think was probably a decent member of the family. Um, he died of old age, you know, while all the others died immediately. It doesn't mean he died of old age. That's true, I suppose. Girl doesn't mean he Oh no, she died of old age. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she wandered off the horizon. Makes so much sense. Um, get on with it. Goodies are decided to get a new job in Parliament, and was very popular there. Yeah. Wow. Good for her, you know, after that Maybe. terrible bout of dysentery. Draw is card two cards when this card's played. Can I draw even though I'm at yep. five? Yep, you just won't draw up. Yeah. Sweet. Yes, Drawing. I know. <laughs> Drawing is easy. Still, just plus fifteen. Right, we done. Okay. Just to clarify, a free play is like a, just a, an additional yep. action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're doing a clever untimely death combo now, here, are you? Maybe. <laughs> I like these uh, event cards. Maybe I'm doing that. Um. Okay. Um. Balthazar. Um. Oh god. Da, 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 da. Okay. Balthazar was the, 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 the unfaithful hound was was just wandering along, minding his own business, when um he saw what looked like what looked to his doggy eyes like a honey bee nest. 
Turned out it was a wasp's nest. And he was wounded by wasps. Oh. Um, and yes. And then, after having been stung brutally by all of these hundreds of, uh, hundreds of wasps, he realised he didn't know where he was, and he let out a terrifying, terrifying shriek, um, and was marooned on the moors, <laughs> thus freaking out any detectives or anything that were around. Um, and yes, and this allows me to make a player an untimely death. Oh wow, that's a really good one. Um, <laughs> he, he stung brutally, lying there, marooned on the moors. He spontaneously combusted. <laughs> <laughs> and then died. Well, you expect that. It was not a good day for Balthazar. Doesn't sound like it. Wow. What's your score at the moment? Uh, minus 25. Minus... Mm, minus... 30. Minus 40. Minus 16. Yeah, minus... Minus 65. Minus... Wow. Minus 95. Yeah, that's bad. Is my current score. Only dead character score. In case you didn't mention it before. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Thank this you. could be the break in the case we've been looking for. <laughs> yeah, you might. You have some complex way of winning now. I don't know. <laughs> Seventy-five to ninety-five. Bit of a jump. Uh... Lot of cards there. Oh yeah, the cards that I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's annoying the balance of uh, wanting to give bosses oh. and bonuses, but giving oh. bonuses. Oh, okay. It's fine. We're good. <laughs> and we're good. <clears throat> and we're see, are. after an unfortunate... See, goodies are wanting to follow on the legacy of her previous employer was uh, made her central policy to uh, crack down on... Um, dangerous pudding and dessert uh, trafficking mm. over the borders, mm -hmm. which was very unpopular among the Baker's Alliance Union, mm. and who uh, um, met her after one particularly rousing speech, <laughs> beat her bloody, and <laughs> broke many bones. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. I thought he was going to be beaten by Baker's or something. That would be a good one. And then, after a uh, rousing TV announcement, I suppose there's TV, radio, tele I, I don't know, something, um, about how this was the turning point for pudding related, related deaths, <laughs> um, in a shock re uh, reveal, it was revealed that whoever this person is was not dead <laughs> that's, all along. That's cousin, and then cousin up. Mordecai. Yes, cousin Mordecai jumped up after having not died, <laughs> and Goodies are died of I don't I've lost the story. Died of despair. For he some was reason. carried away by the bishop <laughs> and escaped. <laughs> Look, the point is he's alive and now she's dead. Okay. And that uh, is... Move one untimely death from a dead character to a living character with a negative self worth score. Did, did they have a negative self worth score? Yes, they did. They had minus, minus five. five. Minus five, yeah. That's good. So, so turn back over, and that ends the game because all five characters over here have died. That's good. And That's you will be minus by most after that, that definitely. Almost certain. Who was more the Kai all along? Hmm. What was the actual score? Yeah, what's the score's gone? Everyone answers that. Yeah. I only have two dead characters, each 30. worth minus 30, so I'm minus 60. Minus I was, 30. I was doing quite well with my two characters, but I just needed more deaths. Minus 30 is alright. Minus 95, I think. Thirty-five. And Cocker made me story story about pudding. 
Yeah, you actually have like a whole theme of pudding going on. Right? That's quite impressive. I'm not sure, did I lose something off of this? Like, I, don't, I don't remember it being... No, I did that. That was okay. my... Remember where I killed that character when they were really... Oh yeah, when they were on your minus, minus five. Okay, I had minus 25, minus 55, minus 60. Mordecai messed you up. Mordecai was good. Yay! John is the winner slash loser. Yay! Minus minus Everyone's <laughs> miserable and dead. I didn't come last in the end. Yeah. Well, John <laughs> last. Thoughts on Gloom? We're both, we're both minus 60. Mm. I thought you were 30. Okay. Gloom. I, I like the storytelling. Story as you can is possibly fun. tell. Yes. Yeah, it's good fun. The cards are very fun. Yes. And the expansions just add more fun story cards, which are nice. I believe there's even like a Cthulhu Gloom, right? Yep. Yeah. Which uh, can be played standalone. I'm not actually sure if you can integrate it with the main deck or not. Internet tellers. Yes. Yeah. I think I would prefer it if there were more um, of the action cards. Yeah, that's something yeah. the game adds more of. Because it, it definitely always it, it feels like, yeah... Quite often, there's a relatively straightforward play, except for if you have the modifiers. The modifiers can make a big difference. For example, you can suddenly pile untimely deaths on all sorts of characters, push them around. There's a yeah. lot of more interesting modifiers and expansions. Like you can bring people back to life much more easily, mm. and then there's all sorts of things with transferring cards and characters and more plays you could do. Yeah, like I had a, a tragic misunderstanding where I was going to, if you hadn't managed to kill that person that turn, <laughs> I was going to like swap one of his positive ones with your. Ooh. Uh, like negative ones which you presumably would have put on but yes no that was very good yeah I enjoyed that that was a fun game of gloom actually that yeah. was a good game so should we say goodbye in a gloomy fashion as befits gloom okay three two one bye <laughs>